Hello fly babies, hello my patrons, hello my lions living in your new strength. It's me, your fly lady cat, and today is Sunday. I'm here today to help you have peace in your life, control in your home, and to learn how to finally love yourself. So today, as I said, is Sunday. This is Renew Your Spirit Day. We have a two layer cake and that is all. So let's look at the first layer, which is our routines. Where today we're going to do our morning routine before the children and then get the children up in time to do their routines because if you're going to church, you have to follow your plan. Uh, look at your planner, make sure you haven't forgotten anything, and then everybody go to church if that's your plan. Then later when you come back and you have a nice dinner, you're gonna do your after dinner routine, uh, and then after that, your before bed routine, which we'll focus on in just a minute. The second part of this is that it is Renew Your Spirit. That is your second layer of your two-layer cake. So whatever it is for you to renew your spirit, for me personally, I attend church. Uh, you may have a synagogue that you visit on Saturday or some other form of worship that you do on whatever day. Just use this day. Switch your days around and make it match. I know that some of the people in my church go to church on Saturday night but Sunday is still Renew Your Spirit Day because it is the holy day in my faith. Okay, that's it. It's a super simple day. We're gonna focus now on our before bed routine because this is the beginning of next week for you. So let's take the time to open up your planner, get out your list, your, your notebook, and look and see, is there anything that you need to add to that list? Have you started a new list for next week? Do you need to start one? prioritize the list. Put the most important one on the day that you have time to do it. Parse it all out during the week. Make sure that you've got all your food parsed out so that you know what day you're having what up to the day you buy your groceries and maybe beyond if you have more meals. Maybe you skipped some of those meals that you bought uh, food for so you can extend that out. Um, whatever plans are going to happen this week, get the broad view, look and see whose birthdays are coming up this week, what anniversaries are coming up. Look at your planner, it's really important, and, and edit your planner for the week. You're gonna hit it twice a week, on Sunday night and on Wednesday on planning and desk day. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is lay out our clothes for tomorrow and uh, make them appropriate for whatever your plans are. Always remember to look presentable. Even if you're just going to the gym and coming back home and staying home, try not to stay in your gym clothes. Try to make yourself look presentable so that if your neighbor needs to be rushed to the hospital and you're the one to do it, you're already dressed. Okay, you don't have to be fancy, just presentable. All right, doesn't matter. It's just, and if you're comfortable wearing your exercise gear all day long and that's something you feel is presentable, then you're fine. For me, at my age, and my attitude is different. So it's okay, we can be different. You can do what you wanna do. Just for me, I wouldn't feel comfortable at my age in, in workout gear at the hospital. But, I mean, I'm sure it's happened and I'm sure it'll continue to happen and it may have nothing to do with my age. It just may have all to do with up here and that's okay too. I like that about me. Don't you like that about you? <laughs> okay, so we're going to lay out our clothes. We're going to look at our planner again, make sure that we haven't forgotten to lay out something for dinner tomorrow. Um, we're going to um, do our plan, which is to go in there and take off that makeup, wash your face, get the day off of your face, brush the day out of your hair, take your jewelry off and put it away, hang your clothes up if they're still clean and let them air out. If they're dirty, put them in the dirty clothes. If there's just a little spot, just spot it and let it air out. Um, after that, we're going to um, take our bath or our shower or our shower if that's what you do at night. If you take that in the morning, that's fine. I would recommend, however, that you wash your feet. Brush your teeth, floss. These are all important things to do. Wipe out the sink, hang up your towel, get on your you know comfy PJs, um, and then whatever else it, that you need to do. So maybe you need to put the children through their evening routine next. Maybe you did yours first. If not, if they're already in bed, then you can go in the kitchen and make sure it looks good in there. Uh, make sure you put out your fresh towel, that the sink is shiny. You don't have to scrub it. No elbow grease required, just a simple wipe. If you scrubbed it that one good time, every once in a blue moon, you'll scrub it. But generally, you'll just spray it with something and wipe it out. It'll be fine. Um, the next thing, of course, if you have a porcelain sink and it's got pot marks in it, then you will have to scrub a little bit. All right, put your fresh towel out, take the other ones and go hang them up to dry so that you can put them in the, in the laundry. 
and um, if it's nighttime and it's time to go to bed, turn on your dishwasher, turn out the lights, make sure the curtains are closed, and go to bed. Make sure that you're going to bed at that hour that you've appointed yourself so that you will get seven to eight hours of sleep and you can get up in the morning. If you're retraining yourself, then it's very important that you go lay in the bed. Maybe you won't sleep, but that's okay. Lay there and try to go to rest. Don't be worried about it though. If you're not sleepy yet, that's okay. Your body's not used to this yet, but when you start getting up early every day, eventually your body will get to sleep at night. I promise. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous Renew Your Spirit Day, and always remember that you are beautiful.